Hello and welcome back. In this tutorial we're going to be looking at colour work in Avid Media Composer. Before we get to work on colour I'd just like to say uh, thank you to editstock.com for the footage we're going to be using today. If you want to practice editing your drama or your fiction I would highly recommend using editstock and you can find them on the link attached to this tutorial below. When it comes to working with colour in any post-production software there are two strands essentially, colour correction and colour grading. Colour correction is where we're just getting the image into a nice stable natural state and colour grading is where we're using colour to add a certain tone, mood or effect. What we're doing here is sort of basic level colour correction so if you're just presenting it to clients or producers or directors it looks stable and decent and presentable. So we're going to do colour correction in this tutorial and colour grading in the next one. To start you'll note over on the right hand side we've got four panel selections audio, effects, colour and edit. If you can't see these you look at this little button up here click on it and it will go to show workspace bar and we're going to begin with the colour workspace. Now when you first click on it it can be quite alarming I think the thing that I would say is when it comes to colour correction it's a little bit like working in Photoshop or DaVinci or After Effects. There are many, many, many different ways to do the same job. As an example, you can do colour correction using levels, channels, curves. My personal preference is curves. I think they're nice, efficient and easy to use and that's what we're going to be using in this tutorial. Up on the left here you'll notice that my project window is now a floating window and because we're working on a laptop we do start to run out of space a little bit I'm just going to sort of just hide that and we can access that later we still have our timeline or sequence down here and if I put my time marker uh, let's say there what we now have on the color interface is the current clip that we're looking at in this case this is our character Mary the previous clip and the next clip the first thing I'm going to do is under this drop down window on the next clip I'm going to set this to waveform and the waveform displays the overall brightness of the image and when you're doing color correction I think there are two steps that you need to do you want to be adjusting the brightness first and then the color afterwards we've got a range of different choices with which we can change and correct our color in Avid I'm going to simply be working with curves we're going to begin over here with our master brightness up at the top here on this line Everything up here, if we drag and adjust it, will affect white or the brightness. Everything down here will adjust the blacks or the darkness of the image. Everything up here will affect what we call the mid-tones or the greys in the image. We can see from this image here that actually if we look down on the bottom, that's the sort of ultimate black. And where it's zero here, we don't want to go past black. Up here at 100, that's ultimate white. We don't really want to go past that. It will be breaking broadcast standards. So we're going to begin by, I'm just going to grab black down here and just watch what happens in the waveform. It's going to drag that ever so slightly to the right. And we're going down, we're adding black. And we don't want to go much past that line here, that line of zero. We're going to add a bit of white up the top here as well to get us up to near 100. And I do that by grabbing white up here and if I've gone too far you can see it will go slightly white up there we don't want to do that so I'm just going to drag that back and that's fairly good if you want to sort of adjust the mid-tones which are kind of these areas around here or the greys you can sort of grab the middle of this line and just punch it up a little bit according to taste but I'm, I'm quite satisfied with that now I think that looks pretty good if you want to see the difference that it's made in your image you've got this button here that says dual split if you click on it on the left you can see what the image was originally and on the right you can see the change that's been made and particularly if you look at her dress the colors have been pumped up a little bit and the overall brightness and contrast of the image has improved second thing we're going to do is actually look at the reds, greens and blues in the image. It's a pretty good image already so I don't think there'll be much work to do here but to do that we're going to click on this menu again we're going to go to RGB Parade. This shows you brightness again but for specific colours so this is the dark portions of the red, bright portions of the red, dark of the green, bright of the green and blue and so on. 
as you can see up here, blue is just punched over the top a little bit, and I do want to get that down. So I'm going to grab the bright blue colors here and just slide that down a bit, just a tad. That'll do. It's a pretty good image already, so I don't really want to muck around with these too much. But the aim really at color correction level is to get the red, green, and blue at the same brightness and darkness levels so that the image is stable. Now, if we look on the timeline, we can now see down here it's added an effect. That's the effect icon on a clip. Now, we can see that we actually cut back to Mary again here and here and quite a number of times. It's the same shot, so we really don't want to go through the hassle of having to do that again. So we can actually create this effect as a template which we're going to do now, and then we can simply drop that template over each time we cut back to our character Mary. I'm going to go back to my bin up here, and I'm going to create a new bin, and I'm going to call this VFX. Let's just select that, and I'm going to create and put my template in here so I can use it for later use. To create my color correction template, I'm going to click on this button down here in my original toolbar and it's called Effect Mode. If I pop this up, it shows the effect or color correction that I've applied to that clip of Mary. Here it is, color correction. I'm gonna grab it, I'm gonna grab that icon here, pull it into my VFX bin. I can close that down now. And I'm gonna call this a Mary, sort of a medium shot, I guess, MS Color Correction. There we go. What that now means is every one of these shots I've got of Mary, I'm going to go back to the first one. I can grab that color template, drop it on there. Let's find the next shot of Mary, grab that template, drag it on there. This is my other shot of Mary, drag it on there. And I think we've got a couple more. Yeah, there's one more there. And we can simply grab it on. And what it's doing is using the same template again and again. So every time we cut back to her, we've got the same color corrected image. Right, that'll do for now. See you in the next tutorial.